Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Fantasy Football. In today's video, I just want to talk about my latest team and this formation 4-3-3. Now of course we've still got two weeks left before the deadline so all these players will change and of course with your suggestions and with your ideas I'm pretty sure that I will change one or two players around. But this formation I was actually using this in the World Cup and I did really well with it. Now the defenders here, Robertson, Aspilicueta, Coleman, Bailly and the goalkeeper Allison, so strong, so expensive, but not only they got the chance to get that clean sheet, but they could get an assist or they could get a goal as well. So this is my team so far, uh, I'm going to go through them and give you guys a few other suggestions as well. Now, I went with the strategy set and forget for the goalkeepers. Now, I went for Allison. I could go for Anderson as well, or maybe even upgrade him to De Gea. Um, so, yeah, went for a really expensive goalkeeper, really cheap goalkeeper that doesn't play that is 4 million. You know, because I'm going to be leaving this goalkeeper for the long run, I don't really need another goalkeeper here that is 4.5. That would just be a waste of money. Robertson hasn't changed. He's still here. He's never going to go. I think having Salah and Robertson is a great pick. Um, because I don't have like another Liverpool player, I think Robertson um, covers that a lot. Aspilicueta, a new addition to my team. Not only that we know how good he is, you know, he can get them lovely assists by crossing the ball a lot. But the formation might change for Chelsea. He might go to the right back position. Um, and you could just get them bonus points like all the time because of him just, you know, assisting and helping the team out even more. Good fixtures as well um, for um, Chelsea. Very good fixtures going forward. So like the first six um, game weeks is looking really well for them. We just need to see if he actually plays and gets the minutes under his belt. So I need to check up on that. And next up, we've got Coleman. Now there is a debate about Baines or Coleman I just got this feeling that Coleman could do well and that's about it really I can't really go into too much in detail with it but I went with Coleman a lot of people actually um, said you know to bring another Everton player and I think he is the one to go for Baye now I do or I did have um, Shaw here which was 5 million but with all these issues with Shaw on Twitter and stuff like that I just want to go with someone that actually nailed on and I think Bailly is the one to go with um, with Maguire you know linked to Manchester United as well if Maguire does come along then I might have to switch him to Maguire because he is I, I love that guy he, he did really well for me in the World Cup and I do want to bring him into my team Next up, we got Rukalis in here. Did pretty well um, in Watford, but then kind of dragged along, you know, didn't do much for a long time. Um, but yeah, 60 million price tag, I think he should play. Um, he should do well as well. Everton's got great fixtures as well. So yeah, he is in my team. Now, of course, we've got Salah. Salah's going to be captain. He's never going to move out my team ever and ever unless he's injured. Um, Sonny, I could have went for Mores, but I think Sonny is the one that is properly nailed on. Um, he is ready to go, changed his hairstyle as well. Good fixtures for Manchester City. I do want another Manchester City player. Maybe once we find out that Mendy's playing, I might change Bayo Coleman or one of those players to Mendy. Uh, Kin is a new addition to my team. Not only he takes penalties for Bournemouth, Scored a goal in the preseason as well. Looking good so far. Um, fixtures are decent. You know, Cardiff at home, West Ham away, Everton at home. Really good first few fixtures. Um, so, yeah, maybe, you know, after the wild card, I probably will change him around. But first few, not bad. Got Abamian here. Now, we all know and we all love Abamian. He did really well last season and I think he's going to do even better. But... There is this problem that is kind of hurting my brain where he plays in the wing. And like I said, is up forward. Now, I don't like the sound of that. Now, even though we know how good he is, I just don't like the sound of that. I do want to switch him over 
to Lacazette. He actually did score against MPSG. I just saw it now. Um, so if we go to Arsenal here and we remove Aubameyang. I know this is a bad, probably bad option. And a lot of people is going to hate it a lot. But Lacazette is going to save me more money. He's going to play. He's going to play up front. And I'm going to have 1.5 to spend elsewhere. I could pretty much upgrade someone else. And to, you know, maybe upgrade Kane. Or maybe a defender. Maybe a, another uh, fifth, mid, uh, fifth or fourth midfielder. Just in case that I have a good bench as well. I got this feeling that Lacazette could do really well. That's just my feeling. It's just how I feel right now. I'm going to hold on to Aubameyang just a little bit more. But I think Lacazette could do something well here. Next up, we've got Anatovic. Now, I know his fixtures are not good. But he is on form. He scored another goal in the preseason. How many goals is he going to score? I know he's against you know lower teams and stuff. But still, form is form. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go with Anatovic. I'll remove Zaha. Zaha's a lot of future is you know in doubt we don't know what's going to happen and i can't have a player that is going to be thinking like that even though if he does move to some other team he still needs to adjust and there might be some times where he's going to come off the bench and stuff like that i can't deal with that. i want someone that's going to play and an altovich is going to, going to go with um a decent substitutes as well you know we've got Neves, we've got masioko um we've got this a new addition from um, crystal palace that is 4.0 very very cheap and um, players here that is probably gonna play and we still need to check on this and um, defender here that is 4.0 and he should play i mean we did see him in the preseason uh we're just gonna need to check and observe a little bit more and if he does play then we just got ourselves a little gem so that's about it that's my team you let me know in the comments what you think and what kind of formation are you gonna go with i think this formation is really good i do like the defenders if you think about it, if it's a boring game and it's a cagey match, then it's nil-nil. Your defenders are going to be the ones that are going to be bringing the points. That's how I'm seeing it. And that's what is going to happen. And, you know, I do have cover for a lot of players right now. Arsenal, Liverpool, even for Chelsea with defenders here. Uh, we've got Everton. I do want another uh, Manchester City probably i'll probably will upgrade one of these players here to mendy i do want mendy so much maybe the goalkeeper just to get you know edison with them um good fixtures coming through for them but anyways you let me know in the comments below what you think uh in a few more days you know we've got a whole two weeks this is going to change again but I do really want Lacazette instead of a Batman. I don't know what it is. Lacazette is... I don't know. You let me know what you think. A Bamian or Lacazette? A Bamian or Lacazette? A Bamian or Lacazette? Anyways, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, come give this video a like. Come subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitter for any kind of updates. And I'll see you guys next time. See ya.